Hey guys, so these are the two examples from the notes and while I've already worked them out on the screen, I just wanted to um, make a video so that you had the worked out versions and just kind of hit on some key things. Um, so over here on the left, I have just some general steps, but the big thing I just wanna mention is this statement up at the top of the notes or at the top of this page. Extraneous solutions, if you have a restriction and a solution that overlap or that are the same, you are going to throw out, discard, get rid of the solution, not the restriction. And then also, um, if you throw out all your solutions, it is possible that you could have no solutions. Here are the steps from the notes that I've used um, down in the rest of these, but I really want to take a second to show you this example from the notes. I solved all of this, and you can pause the video and go back and write that and look through this, but I solved all this, and I got down these two answers of x equals four and x equals negative one. Now, because there was a restriction of x equals negative one and a solution of x equals negative one, I did disregard, I crossed off, I got rid of that solution. And so the only answer that you would type into Hawks is gonna be that one of x equals four. And then in this next example, Again, you can pause the video and write this stuff down. I just wanted to um, kind of have document of these examples worked out with the solutions. I get a restriction of x equals three, x equals negative five, and then I get answers of x equals negative three, x equals negative one. So since there are no restrictions that are also solutions, I do not throw out any solutions. I keep both the restrictions and both the solutions. Yes, three and negative three are similar, but they are not exactly the same. And then the last one, this is a really great example because it covers a lot of stuff. Um, this last one, I've got those restrictions, nine and negative two over three, and then I get a solution of 19 over 15. Leave these things as fractions. You don't need to write them as decimals, but do take a second, pause the video, write down this example. Um, I've made some notes over here on the left-hand side for you, and then I've just made some notes as we're going through this problem. Um, it's just really good information. For the rest of the notes, there is a YouTube video um, on these word problems from here.